艺术家贝弗里·巴卡特用以色列地取得的土壤、沙子和贝壳来讲述以色列十二支派的故事。Each one received their own land. Each one had their own specific workplace. What they did, how they did it, and it's all in the paintings of the twelve tribes. 他用来自十二支派各地的土壤，在特制调色盘上加上宝石，来代表大祭司的胸牌。他也研究每支派的独特角色。So when I research them, like Zvulun, if we go all the way here, Zvulun on the on the flag represented them a ship because they were in commerce. So they went offshore. They were sailors. Bakate 说，妥拉对各支派的影响很大。They studied the Bible. They actually came up with realizing that the moon starts very thin and goes throughout the month, and at the end of the month, it's big, and then it starts thin again. And that dynamic of knowing how the moon moves and holidays, Hebrew Jewish holidays. The interaction with religion, they brought that to the table. This experience let Bakate see the connection between the old and the new. And that's what's so special about each tribe and tribe that they had the specialty that they brought to this one whole thing called Israel today. 当时十二支派散居在应许之地，但耶路撒冷凝聚了他们。And then they go back to Jerusalem. Oh wow, new ideas, new speculations, new, new spices. So that tapestry of spread out all over is actually what I feel exists today. 巴卡特是耶路撒冷市长尼尔·巴卡特的妻子。他表示，尼尔市长近十年来正是以融合十二支派的精神经营耶路撒冷，并为每位市民带来盼望。而巴卡特希望他的作品可以反映现今以色列的独特，例如以色列餐厅里创新的烹调方式，随处可见高科技和创新。这股活力正是他在创作中所想要呈现的。